Sky Surfer. All right, pretty solid hand. And we're on the play. Got Tron. Got some discard spells. Ooh, Reanimator. So I can suspend Tutor, I can get a, uh, I can Thoughtseize next turn. And then I can cling to Dust, hopefully that buys me a little time. Oh, Green Triome, hmm. Wait, they didn't even get White Mana. Was there Mending in hand? I think that might be the awkward pause of someone who realizes uh, what they just did. <laughs> Whoopsie. Persist is a good one, right? Yeah. Oh, that is a little awkward for them. Should I get Kling or should I get something else? Oh, I can just get Karn, right? Karn for Crypt. It's just better. Do I enjoy this mono black? Um, so far so good because I've been drawing well. I when I when I played the deck at first, I expected to have a lot of crappy draws, and you do have to mulligan a bunch, but it's been surprisingly good. Surprisingly functional. It's got to be Karn, right? I do feel like the few changes I made have been have been good too. I think I made the deck better. Can they reanimate at instant speed? Okay. Kind of surprised I didn't just go for Karn here. Unless they expect I just don't have another one. But I do. It's just good deck building. What should I get? Don't want to tap out this turn. Don't want worm coil or coding. Maybe just coding. You're on TV. I did see. Uh, I saw a tweet about Cecile Duflo about it. The CEO of Oxfam. Hey, Auntie, what's up? Well, I think the, the problem with the French Wordle is that it's literally a TV show in France. And Sutum is actually the name of the show, but upside, uh, like, I don't know if upside, I don't think upside down is the correct way of saying it, but in reverse. So there's probably some, like, kind of copyright issues there, and I don't know the details. Oh, good beats. What change did I make? I cut the expedition maps. I'm just playing more lands in classic me fashion. And uh, I think that was the major change. All right, I guess now I'm just getting warm coal engine. Yeah, I figured it was a bit more, not as clear cut as that. Value Vizier says they didn't ask to shut it down just to change the name to be fair. France TV wanted to protect their brand, which is their right. Yeah, sounds reasonable. 
But I did feel like I read that they wanted the site shut down. Maybe first they asked, can you just change the name? And they were kind of no, so then they were, I don't know. I mean, doesn't sound like very interesting. I would hope the French public service has a reasonable approach to these kind of problems and they're not just trying to flex. Should I load up the blast zone up to eight? It's owned by the government. Um, there's a few TV channels that are owned by the government, I think, owned by the, I think that's the right way to describe it. And there's that show called Motus, which is basically just equivalent of Wordle. It's been on air for like tens of years. Let's see, what am I worried about? Could get a cling. Could just get another corn. Maybe that's good. I can. So what I can do is sag the relic. And then since it's exile, I can get it again. From exile. Where's my exile stuff? Oh, there it is. All right. All right, yeah, that's a better way. That's more precise. Vadivideo says the channels are funded by the government, but they're fairly independent as far as editorial decisions. Yeah, it's not like they're like, Oh, Macron is the greatest guy in the history of the world every two seconds or that kind of stuff. No. If anything's probably the opposite, they're probably like probably left leaning. All right, fail push. They do have um JVP. Guess I'll just keep the first. Can the nation bail me out? Unlikely. Do I want the relic in the main deck and just the one crypt? It was nice to be able to get the relic, right? With Skarn. It was not exactly a luxury. And we saw yesterday what happens when I get greedy with my Karn targets. If we know they're playing four JVP, I should maybe have more than two cheap removal. They might also have the white black 2 2. Let's have two first. Have the discard spells. Have Liliana. I think this hand is good enough. Turn to Voidwalker. Meh. No Urborg, no coffers. Liliana is actually probably pretty bad against them. Keep the nation. I kept one in. Didn't tutor for it. Made a professor. Yeah, this deck's been fun to play. Sometimes these decks are like not very fun to play just because they're they just end up being underpowered. And then when you get paired against, you know, stuff like Murktide or Grixis Shadow, you're just outclassed, but hasn't felt that way. Castle Lot Twin's been MVP. In some ways, I feel like Castle Lockwin might just be the most important card in the deck in the way of, in the way that it's not really replaceable. Because, like, I mean, you could kind of build the same deck without the 
the coffers thingy. You could build kind of the same deck with that. I, I don't know. Yeah. It's really good. It's been really good. Oh. Wow. Brutal. Can they flip it? Unclear. Did they draw a fetch land? Did they draw anything really? Fetch land, discard spell. I guess it needs to be their top cards. They can't just loot into it. Kind of surprised they even played Stony Silence here. As they plan on just discarding burial rights. How oh, we both have Urborg. All right, we dodged. We dodged uh, the dagger. You kind of need the coffers to make up for all the mana and efficiency of your good cards. Yeah, but you could build the deck differently, right? If you didn't have coffers, you could cut the expensive cards. You could maybe cut the cards. Maybe even cut Invoke Despair. Play like Dark Confident or, you know, maybe Soren, maybe more creatures, Liliana, The Last Hope and stuff. Maybe the Voidwalkers in the main deck. We do bring in Voidwalker in pretty much every matchup. But it's kind of that versatile card that's just you can bring in against anything. But that's not necessarily great in the main. All right, each. Oh, wow, that was dumb. Actually, no, that was not dumb, right? I want to play. Uh, I want to play my second Liliana, or do I? Am I in a rush? I'll just play Voidwalker first, and then they're gonna attack Liliana, and then I'm just gonna. Yeah, maybe that's just better. Bob makes a burn match is almost impossible to win. Bob's not that bad against Varen if your curve is low. I mean, you play it, it dies, it trades. I mean, it's bad against Searing Blaze. You can just board them out. Usually, Mono Black's not that bad against Burn because you don't take damage from your land or very little. And Liliana of the Veil is actually a really good card against Burn. But you need something else to close it. And then you can play Cling to Dust if you want to. There's a few few things you can do. Should I cast a Thassigur? I don't think so. Keep my Voidwalker around, make their life complicated. Still, just cry, I guess. It's like a really bad serum visions. All right, they're getting rid of the void walker. I am supposed to keep it on tap and just use it as um rest in peace kind of card. And if they try to get rid of it, I get a free, free spell. Can I play? Can you play, um, choose an exact card now. Can you play a creature at instant speed with Voidwalker? I'm not sure. All right, what do I want to do here? You can't? Hmm, okay. All right, all right, let's see. They have no cards, they have rights in the yard. Uh, I guess it's just cast this as a 2-1 and play my second Lidiana. Just plus it. Voidwalker says you may play this turn without paying its mana cost. What did it draw? Archon? I'm just helping them. This is a little dangerous. I could just be helping them. 
there's probably way too many cards it could have that I don't know, it's close. Maybe I one plus Liliana. Let's see what I draw first. Okay. <laughs> I actually drew the Archon. Oh! Death Stony Silence! Oh my god. Oh, I can... no. Right. Um, I guess it does get Torpor Orb? Yeah, I guess it does get Torpor Orb. All right, I think we're good. Calculate it, chat. Relax. I'm a trained professional. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> trained professional? Tokyo? And you make up for the, the clunkiness with coffers and whatnot. Yeah, that's interesting. Hmm. Four one mana spells and a tutor, but no second land. That's that's one of the reasons I cut map. I was getting these hands a lot. These one land map stuff, this, that, coffers. I think I should mulligan. Okay, a little slow, but at least we know what to bottom. Yeah, I found the lands. Who used to play Magic like that when they first started playing? Instead of when you when you mulliganed? Hmm. I'm going to shuffle right away. Who did that? Instead of mulliganing, you would just take your your seven, put it on the bottom of your deck, and just draw seven from the top. Anyone else played magic like that? I do this to this day <laughs> in tournaments. I never did that because as a new player, I would just refuse to mulligan. Yeah, fair. Okay, maybe I should have kept the hand with all the one mana spells, eh? All right. I'm still dead next turn. Who does that on board? Black spell, yeah, it's a demonic tutor, except it's suspend two. Do we have outs? I mean, I needed like a fatal push or something. It's actually kind of close. They have like, what, 20 damage? I haven't played against Hammer Time yet. I'm assuming it's a fine matchup. You have cheap removal, damnation. Karn's decent against them. Hmm, they got Shadow Spear. Could have just gone for it with Hammer. I'm fine, right? Just get to tutor for the nation. Opponent woke up this morning and chose uh they chose peace. Just kidding, they chose money. Ting payment received. I have one card left. That blast zone could be pretty good. 
Should I just blast zone? Probably right. Am I even scared of anything? Can anything bad happen? <laughs> Is this money up my life? I don't think so, right? Blast zone just to send a message, even if it's not the right play. No, nah, not my style. Oh, they have enchantment they can sack. All right, that was pretty bad. I'm sure half up chat is rooting for me to lose now. The hubris. Maybe more than half of chat. Flawless victory. I don't think they're gonna let us flawless victory them. Also flawless victories, no no graveyard, no hand. The true flawless victory. I'm not sure I've ever accomplished true flawless victory in Magic. All of their permanents, ex all of their permanents, cards in hand, and uh, and graveyard exiles. All right, this matchup. Probably don't want to board out too much, right? It's always a question of do I want my uh do I want a few of my current targets or not? Invoke despair is pretty clunky. Like what's the most important current target? They could all be good, right? Could be bridge, could be needle, could be ballista, could be explosives. Clang's kind of medium. Oh Torque's pretty good. Can do a Torak for an invoke. What do you think, chat? Anyone's got any wisdom to drop? <laughs> yeah. Whenever I, whenever I ask a tough question, that's pretty much, you know, when it's when it's turning my bridge in a creature with Karn and, and minusing Lily targeting myself, chat's all about it. When it's actually kind of intricate sideboard decisions, chat's just like, I don't know. What cause like in the sideboard, it's for the mill matchup and it's also potentially castable in a very slow matchup. Maybe EE. -E. Yeah. You know what? I've been burned. I'm not gonna do it. I'm just gonna keep all my current targets in the sideboard. Voidwalker to improve Flawless victory. <laughs> all right. Hope they don't have turn one Sentinel. Hmm. Spell Pierce Needle Saga. Actually, I'm not sure that made a ton of sense to take Spell Pierce first. They can just cast the needle now. But they have to guess. Hmm. I don't know why I did that. I got confused. Let's see if they guess right. Should probably name Liliana, right? Just because it's the cheaper card. Maybe not. The name Karn. Do I just say go here? I think I like just saying go. Kind of weird to say go, but because I have two Torok, like uh, when am I gonna really get value out of the second Torok? I don't want to thoughtsies right away because there's only one card we don't know, and 
They might just want to make a token next turn. So I get to see two of their cards in hand. Now it's kind of interesting. Because Torag does get pumped. If I play it first, it gives me a blocker. But I don't think I care the way this game's going. I think I'm just going to take it real slow. Hmm. Second Torak might actually be good because I might go. Man, I can't believe I made that mistake with the Inquisition. <laughs> Some real game losing stuff. I'm probably going to go first Torak, then Damnation, then second Torak. Poor OP. Yeah, I mean, to be fair, I misplayed and if they had drawn a spell, they would have lost it anyway, so it's not even that bad. Not even that bad for them. I learned about an interaction even better than Karn Target Bridge and Sack to Liliana. Did you know that if you have four lands in play and a Karn in hand, you can cast Karn? This works even with coffers if your other lands are swamps. Take note, chat. The wisdom we were waiting for. Lena never misses. Hmm. Maybe yeah, I want a damnation right away. No. Need to dodge the paladin. Paladin just kills me. As usual, Paladin's their best card. Their scariest card. Core Outfitter. I could just play Karn for the passive. Huh. Does that make sense? Yeah, I think it's good, right? Oh, Planeswalker passives. You are so wonderful. I'm just following Lena's advice. Four mana, cast Karn. Easy. The chosen card is Karn the Great Creator. Karn the Great Creator. Should I at least, should I, can I just afford to play Torak here? Kind of bad, right? To make their Nexus creature in terms of 5-5. Five, five. Hmm. Karn's not working. Karn's lazy today. I don't hate playing Torak first, though. Play Torak, Chomp. Hmm. It's like two lands, right? No, I guess it's bad. Push the token now, <clears throat> just in case they have a spell pierce. I see that spell pierce, I can just use a second one. <laughs> Alright, for those of you just joining, they have Pithing Needle naming Karn the Great Creator, meaning I cannot use it right now. Attacking me, because I'll take it. See what happens. I can still push enough turn, which I might do. Hmm.
feel like they should maybe be attacking Karn. Even if it's a long way to go. They're not even attacking Liliana. Kind of a bull strat. I guess I'll just draw one less card because I want to keep plusing Liliana, I think. That might be my uh, fastest way to close out the game. Yeah, I hope he made a couple of questionable choices this match. Should have lost game one and this game should have been a tiny bit closer. Doesn't seem like Hammer Tom's gonna be the greatest matchup. They have like turn one sentinel on the play. I'm gonna whirl of hurt. Not that my draws were amazing, but enough. I guess my draws weren't great, and I, I I did totally misplay this game as well. Invoke despair. Makes sense. I could have another one. Let's see. All right, are they going to attack Liliana now? Surely. Surely they're just going to attack Liliana, right? No amount of money. I told him not to make it too obvious. When I paypal And any risk of losing this game? I think I could lose. Incredibly low odds, but... I'm guessing there's some something they could draw. Maybe not. What could they draw? It's the Galar's aid into Hammer, and I just break, right? That's the way I could lose. Yeah, it does look like the, the Empire's uh, Destroyers, for sure. I didn't get anything that great. Oh, I couldn't get Blast Zone, right? Oh, that's pretty good. Wait, that doesn't even work against Nexus. A little awkward. All I have to do is activate it in response. I said GG. All right, GG's. Because you're the best around. Yes, yeah, Stage Madness. Thanks for the resub and the kind words. Another one we lost to the to the DMCA frets. Because you're the best around. Should I take iteration and counterspell? I this matchup once yesterday, I think, in a one. It's close though. Did you actually draw Ragavan? It was an awkward pause. Do I want to play Tutor now? I don't think so. It's tough, it's close. 
Consider, consider. We could just take on Holy Heat. Well, I think Liliana hurts me a bit. Maybe I won't even play Liliana next turn. All right, questionable plays. Kind of wish I'd just tutored in hindsight. Tough spot. I think I should just discard coffers. All right, what do we need here? A tutor? Another tutor would be nice. Karn would be okay. We just get a crypt. I'm not putting a ton of thought into my lines, honestly. Crypt seems good against Unholy Heat. Gonna be a pain for them to get rid of that stuff with that Unholy Heat. Now I'm worried about Merc Tide, not really. Let's see if they have Unholy Heat. They'll probably cast it now if they do. Force me to sag the crypt. I guess Lightning Bolt is a, is a card too. Double Charm Iteration. All right, I guess it's easy, uh, easy coding. Scoop lag, I think. All right. Could do Voidwalker for discard spell, maybe. I don't think I want to bring in the artifacts. I think I want to keep the Karns. I've been boarding out Karn, though. You can go either way, I think. You can decide to make your deck a bit cheaper. And board out the Karn. I think I want all the discard spells. Me just no changes. Voidwalker is pretty good though. More cheap cards is good with Castle Locked Wing too. Karn was good this game, but mostly because they just stumbled. Could do like two Karn. Two Karn. Cut the Damnations maybe. Since they're awkward with Voidwalker. Do an invoke and invoke Karn split. Maybe I'll try that. A lot of my cards seem kind of eh. Not great. No answer to turn on Ragavan equals not great. All right, it's probably a little less bad than Ragavan. Ooh. Look at that. I think you just kill it right away. Actually. Yeah, I think I just it's just so bad if they have a counter spell. I guess I can take the counter spell. I don't know. I feel like I, I feel like not killing right away just always end up regretting it. Okay, I could tutor now. 
to have it sooner. Market Inquisition. So they don't have um, iteration. I think Tutor is nice, plays around counter spell and spell pierce. Maybe they waste their mana. It's a nice draw. <laughs> Full house. Let's see, yikes. Yeah. That's a big yikes. I could do her for like coffers and then castle lock queen. But that plans only works if they don't draw threats. Also, it's really slow. Also loses to Blood Moon. Maybe I should board out Invoke Despair because of Blood Moon. Or at least Trim. All right, I think I'll get cough first if they let it resolve. Just sets, set myself up for multiple spells in a turn. Or maybe Castle Lockwing first. Hmm. Yo, Young Dingo. Thanks for the raid, buds. Welcome everyone from Young Dingo stream. We're uh, still playing that black deck. It's been, it's been pretty cool. Also been pretty good somehow. Competing with the nonsense that is ragavans and iterations and whatnot. Alright, they have counterspell up. So I probably don't want to cast anything this turn. Yeah, maybe cast a lot, Wayne. Kling. Kling's kind of sweet too. Could just get a fatal push. Then go push Liliana. Alright, I'll get the castle locked, Wayne. <laughs> funny. He's so funny. This deck just isn't good. It doesn't look like it should be good, but I keep winning. Ouch. I mean, I could take Ragavan and then sag the Blast Zone. It's not the worst play in the world. Oh, maybe I messed up the way I tapped my mana. Easy iteration. Iteration, then what though? I'm going to fall so far behind if I, let's say, I take iteration, cast Liliana, say go. Yeah, maybe this is fine, yeah. And I think I have to cast Liliana. Just have to empty my hand and use my mana. That does take six damage every time I draw cards. So I'm going to take five next turn, but then I can keep Blast Zone mana up. Hmm. Hopefully they cast it. That'd be nice. 
How'd they get this cry? They kept on top, so they kept maybe another counter spell. Maybe a charm. Six mana. Let's let this see go. I don't know if I use Castle or not. I don't think so. Not sure. How much mana do I have next turn? Six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, I think I should use Castle now. Spell, nice. I think it's Voidwalker first. Oh, I actually got a counter spell out of it. I didn't expect that. Figured they would just ignore it. Okay, nice. Just take Ragavan now. Still close that counter spell. It's not like I can keep drawing a billion cards with Scastle either. Are we taking two? I don't know. I don't think so. Not right away. I might go into I might go in bolt range bolt range at some point though. You might have boarded out bolts. Bolt, nah, most stock players play three bolts in the main, three or four bolts in the main. Also, if I wait, I might be able to draw two cards. I might be able to pay one life twice. It's kind of a good draw, great draw. It's well known if they have a bolt or not. If it resolves. And they had it. Was their last card on Holy Heat? Oh, Auto Aura. Is there a point in playing Urborg? <laughs> I have something in my deck, I guess. Let's not just play it. I guess bluffing. Playing would be my best draw, I think. Playing in Karn. Probably Clang's the best card I can draw, yeah. Can cast it four times. Can go out of Bolt range. And draw a couple cards. Maybe second Clang in the sideboard would be nice for this matchup. The problem with cards like Clang is that the way you lose the most is probably on unanswered Ragavan, so just more answers to Ragavan is probably just good. March. I could try it. Doesn't seem like the kind of card that's gonna be modern power level. Wrong one. Damn. Yeah, if that was a march, can you imagine? I mean, march is not that bad. <laughs> Um, 
Do I think the copper deck is legit? I'm not sure. I doubt it, but my win rate has been decent. My win rate has been good. It's probably not awful, but it's probably not, you know, top 10 decks in modern or something. Does anyone know how uh, Squid Sheep did in his late yesterday? I think he beat Burn in round one. But then I went to bed. Alright, we're on the play. I mean, I think I have to keep. Turn to Torog, that's an answer to Ragavan. I'm on the play. I have kind of a curve, 2, 3, 4. F coffers. Yeah. Don't love my chances. The cycle of despair begins. All right, at least it in top. That's nice. Up to your coming up, I can just tutor Urborg. Lead with Torak, probably. The benefit of dodging spell pierce too. <clears throat> they need exactly counter spell. Hmm. All right, they bottomed again or they graveyard again. I'll take the small win. It's like Ragavan coming my way. Probably like Ragavan, Archmage Charm back up. He does a regent. Looks like a regent actually. Yeah, Karn plus bridge is the plan. Hope it's good enough somehow. My profane tutor over map does the same thing. It's one mana cheaper. Oh, it's just much better. Chase. Hmm. Can Karn for Needle? I don't know. I mean, you can. Uh, it's such a weird question. Why Tutor over Map? You know, Tutor can get any card in your deck, right? Map can only get lands. That's a good draw. Nine makes it uh, even better to just get Needle. I'll do push first, off chance that force of negation in their deck, I guess. I'm not getting coding, so greedy. Hmm. I mean, coding could be the higher EV play. <clears throat> I don't think I'm dead desperate. All right, they got their two for one. I got my two for one. Kind of canceled each other. They're down to two cards. 
And they only got to shuffle away one card. They've already cast two counter spells. And their last card in hand is not a counter spell. I think I'm going to win. If not, I'm going to need to get lucky. We played Black Seal Colossus be too cute. Yeah. Already caught Bull of Citadel. Yeah, all, all that stuff. Just bad. That's a draw. Let's see. Nine mana. I'm debating whether or not to fetch because of potential blood man. I think maybe I should. Playing Voidwalker first doesn't play around spell pierce, but what are the odds it would keep a spell pierce there? I'm sure you want to spell pierce in the grindy deck against a heavy discard deck. Usually not the greatest. I need a quick break. I need to make a phone call after this game. What is it? Round three? Macron? No. Hmm, I wonder if they missed that. If they realized they didn't have a thingy. The GG very hard game. All right, GG. Mm -hmm. I don't know if that means they're scooping or. Oh. Oh, they're so nice. It said honor meeting you. Maybe they just have like. I mean, they have outs. They have at least Ottawa, right? All right, I guess they're done. Let's see. Let's see what our few top cards were. Blotchy first, not bad. They will push. I had Karn going. Uh, looks like I probably would have won. Okay, fail push tend to be a good card in modern. Hopefully, uh, elves. Dang. Okay. Well, push is going to be good, but it might not be enough. They just have company. Oh, that's sweet for us. Wow. Pimp. I heard free and out too. Elves the real deal, apparently. Mm. I mean, this can keep a, kill a four drop, but I could draw a fetch land too. I'm going to use the first first. It's kind of like best case scenario for me if they have no lands and just elves as mana. Because it means I don't have to worry about um collected company as soon. Probably just double tutor, right? Actually, no. Well, yeah, on an empty board sounds good. Plus, if they have a second elite, really good. Hopefully, I just draw a land like Coffers or Urborg would be ideal, I think. Or just a removal spell, maybe. Is it just time to let Liliana go? Market Damnation Plus. Probably the Nation Plus is better. It's much better.
Very nice. I would be surprised this elf is a bad matchup, honestly. Just because of company and the other other the, the lead the stampede or whatever else they're gonna be playing. Do have two damnations and way two tutors for it though. Grizzly bear, despair. What do I even get here? Just Urborg, I guess. Yeah, my man was just too awkward without Urborg. I mean, I'm assuming it's just a company, right? This is kind of free. I think I'm going to plus Liliana. Yeah. Let it take a hit. Who cares? Just a bridge for now, I guess. Ballista. Next turn, I can just get coffers and ballista or something. Wave. What's wave? Confused. No, he's just lost lost his mind. All right, bad cards. Torox pretty bad. Everything else is these. I don't think I want to start bringing my one ofs. Don't void walk over Torox. No, no changes. I guess. Oh, like saying well, hello, you're waving. Robert the dog. Very proper. Roberto El Perro. Oh, Clink, that's not a really bad one. I mean, it's not good, but I'll have to do. This elf's gonna be that my downfall. I wonder if they have Veil of Summer in the sideboard. Not sure why they wouldn't. I saw Kiana strictly, he was playing four Veil of Summer in his deck. <laughs> I'm just gonna take company, I think. This card's not gonna save me anyways. Robert Le Chien. I was hoping they would just play Thoughties now, honestly. Because I feel like, you know, I mean, Liliana is not much better than Karn. I wonder if that means they have Thoughties as well in their deck. I think the rest of our thoughts is not super common. Hmm, I'm surprised I didn't just take Karn. Oh yeah, it just does so little for me. Just instantly dies. Speed bump. Maybe they don't want to be bothered by the speed bump. Hmm. 
Yikes. And I played the wrong land. Whoops. Okay. Knocking on the top of my deck for the nation chat. I have no cards in hand and one land in play. Easy damnation. Can't believe what fell. Cannot believe what fell. <laughs> Easiest money of my life. <laughs> that was gross. <laughs> ah, what dreams are made of, indeed. He's playing first. I'm on the draw. I think I'll keep. I need a on tap land in my top two, a non coffers land in my top two. Damn, all in for free free double strike. GG. It's gonna deal 18 damage. Can I even afford to Thoughtseize? I mean, I think I just lose, right? Let's all say go. I have to draw Urborg. I need Urborg in my top two. Kind of sick. It dodges ending, it dodges march, it dodges push. It's actually really freaking good. Oh, I can't count. Why did I think it would deal? Oh, I have an extra draw step. For some reason, I thought it would kill me like now. I needed to go right away. I reveal hand after like scooping a response to the Thossies? Awkward. All right, I probably want my own Void Walkers. What's bad in this matchup? Hmm. I just got Thossies. Why not? Always makes my day to catch a stream on my lunch break. Appreciate you. Maldivian Horde, no more. It's so nice. So, so nice. Thank you so much. Thanks for the resub and the super nice message. <clears throat> what should I lead was me Takanuma. Is there a world where I draw four lands in a row and I use Takanuma? Maybe a world where I want fetch land for fatal push too. I'll play it right away, never know. Maybe I'll help him cast a, a Void Walker on two or something. Would I talk to Pascal in English or French? But just him and me? That's a good question, actually. 
Let me try and think. I think he would default to French with me. And I would default to French as well. I think I think French. Spoken French, written English. Yeah, probably written English. Yeah, it doesn't actually speak French. <laughs> it's all a scam. Proxy against a void locker. Please, I can't cast it. Well, I can, but it's not very good. Man, maybe I should have discarded the second Voidwalker. Should I play the second one? Am I gonna get furied into oblivion? My hand kind of sucks. Easy. Easy clap. We're paying for our last round's donation. I wonder if he has Blood Moon. He's fetching all these basics. Probably has Blood Moon in his deck, right? All right, where did the Fatal Push go? Oh, it's my Fatal Push. <laughs> oh, man. It's my Fatal Push, so I don't even get that. Oh, he can't even use it. Oh, that was dumb. Oh, that was really dumb. I guess, I guess plusing first is not the worst thing in the world. I'm not even sure what I want. <laughs> Paris, Texas. Paris, Texas. Howdy. Howdy, partners. It's the best I can do. Oh, that's not true. I can also just start saying y'all. Y'all. What's up, y'all? Terrible accent. Nice grief. Oh, it wasn't even to uh to blink it. I mean, it is tempting to just uh, cast a grief, no? Why would I not? He's trying to bait me, maybe sag the... Hmm. Let's see. What do I want to get? Ballista. Ballista sounds nice, right? Pretty safe. Could do coding. Sideboard artifact plan. I don't think you need it. I could keep track, but I don't. I think you almost never need it. Sideboard slot's pretty tight. Maybe any thoughts he's on the draw. Just so easy to fall behind. But it's nice to have some good top decks. Yeah. I think I could do better than this configuration. It's probably not optimal, but I'm also not sure what is. Seems like a tough matchup. Maybe I need thoughts. He's maybe invoke disperse just bad. We established he's probably a Blood Moon deck, right? Yeah, I should just cut all the invoke despairs actually. Eight or not? I don't know what to do. All right, this is what we're playing was not the worst hands. Got an answer to turn one Ragavan, which is nice. Second Urborg is obviously kind of a mulligan.
This guy's gonna take both tutors, probably. That's a good one. Why'd end up registering? Two thoughts he's to invoke. What's he gonna take now? Damnation? Bloodsheet first. Oh. Over damnation. Why, you didn't take damnation? That sucks. If this was a thought seeds, maybe I had a shot this game. What can I even draw? Oh, covers. No, that doesn't work. Damnation, I call damnation. I don't have mana. I can Liliana, I can Liliana minus, I guess. I can get Fatal Push. And hope to draw land. It's looking grim, it's looking pretty grimsky. I don't have anything sweet to buy. So it's like fatal push. And I hope to draw running lands or another removal spell. Just fatal push, right? Get first. It's the same thing, right? I can trigger push with Urborg. Same amount of that. Yeah, I think fail push is best odds. Not that on board. We know one of his cards is a dread boar. Giving me hope, chat. Before taking it all away. So hard for me to win this game. This two two one ones next turn is just gonna get me. After fighting back, just trips break here. Brutal. Gonna scare him. Yeah, that's definitely not Pog Champion. Pogger's Champ. All right, GG's Pascal. And boss. Oh, man. So close. Do I get points for that? Oh, I got two points. What am I now? One point short of being able to... Oh no, 40 exactly. Very nice. I'm <laughs> sorry.